Hi, I'm Guillaume from UFSCar and today I'd like to show you about our work Land as hrv 6 meets 5G car implementation and deployment of a network service chain function in smart mix I'd like to give you a brief outline of my presentation First, I'll introduce our contest, then our problem after a solution and a proof of concept. By leveraging networks of authorization technologies such as SDN and NFV, a high level of programmability, flexibility and modularity may be created on top of our common networks. The new 5G car is already making use of these technologies to build logical networks, referred to as network slices. But aligned with such virtualization, SRV6 has become a key element for the IPv6 data plane instantiation of segment routing. Undoubtedly, SRV6 is an enable to satisfy new consumer services and business demands for 5G and beyond. As everybody knows, 5G is already right there and it comes with many gaps. One of them is the known existence of an effective network service chain function in the user plane. For example, we can see that some operator or third part functions are already in 5G infrastructure, but we need a service chain function if you want to transform this processing data in a sequence of services. Our solution proposal is in between run a new path to build this network service chain function. Our solution, named INCA, acronym for In Network Identification and Chaining, was designed to fill this gap. Basically, INCA identifies packets and builds or drops as RV6 header, making this way a network safety chain inside 5G car. This is a higher view design of how our proposal works. I will quickly explain an end-to-end -end flow. After run encapsulates the payload packet with GPT tuning, Inca can look for some fields in search of a match. If there is a match, Inca builds SRV6 header, which contains all IPv6 address of functions in chain, and forward the packet to the first function. A list of functions, this packet returns to Inca. At this moment, Inca removes as rv 6 header and forward the packet to UPF, where it follows its way normally. Our objective with this demo is to show a working environment. We are using this topology. At the ads, we have a client and a video service representing UE and DN. Run a new path. Our BN virtual suites that just encapsulate and decapsulate 5G stack protocols. And at this, 1, 2, 3 are network functions. Choose nodes, one at detection and other at prediction mode. And a link is firewall. All of these are variant virtual machines. Between run and new path, we have our Inca. That is a Netronom Agile card with two 10 gigabit Ethernets. But using single root input output utilization, we can enable until 64 virtual interface. In our topology, we have five of them. With this scenario, we are going to show two tracks, one with a video service and a VLC player 
where we are going to show a video which traffic is passing go to egg FBs 1 and 2. And the other test is an attacker trying to obtain information about the network. This traffic passes through NFBs 1 and 2. At a certain moment, counter planning find this and update the chain policy. Right now, this traffic passes through NFBs 1 and 3. This last one block this traffic. So, let's go to the action. With our environment ready, we can see five windows. The bottom ones are the three network functions. In the upper right corner, we have one of the clients, which are one I'm going to simulate a scan attack with NMAP. Finally, we have our VLC client on upper left corner. First of all, I feel that I need to explain this, this infrastructure. Following what was said on the slides, the clients connect to the RAM, which encapsulates the packets, and after this, Inca creates the SRD6 header and sends the packets to the first function. So, if I ping from VLC clients to our video server, we can see the network function that is a, a packet transit. The packet arrives in the first function with segment left equal to 2. After this, packet is processed, it leaves with segment left equals to 1 and enters the second network function with exactly the same value. If I ping from NMAP client, we can see that packet is passing through the same functions. After being processed by these network functions, the packet returns to Inca, which sends it to UPF and then to the video service, which responds to the ping and then we can see this packet making its way back through the same two functions. Now that you understand our infrastructure, I'm going to show a video being loaded on your VLC client. We can see that when the video loading starts, the packets are passing through the network functions. As the video loads, let's go to your attacker. In this case, NMAP is scanning the video server in series of open parts. We can see that NMAP returns two parts open. Now let's assume that the control plane wants to change this routing so that these attacker packets pass through a file, so Inca uh, offers a higher granularity of possible maps. This policy is easy to be implemented. We can simply choose based on the attacker's IP, our destination, part, QoS, flow, etc. In this case, the policy was applied by the attacker IP. Now, we can see that the packet is passing through the other network function and stop it. Uh, and the map starts with no open parts. All of these while our video should play normally. This is our in-network notification and chain function for 5G card. Then uh, returning to our presentation just to finish. I like to see just key contribution of our work the SRV6 plus build drop plus because originally you cannot build a SRV6 header if there is a match based on a single field, the IPv6 destination. We think that is a factor that limits the possibilities of working inside the 5G. For this reason, our solution implements the possibility of maths based on 9 different fields which can be combined. With this, we can have a high granularity and thus implement network function chain for an entire slice or just a specific service. We also implemented the new PDU session European protocol as defined in 3GPP. It's important to remember we did all of this entirely in data plane. Now we are working our performance and scalability evaluation for future works.
Thank you for watching.